This short video covers the concept of triangle arbitrage, and triangle arbitrage is a concept that you'll probably encounter if you take a course in multinational finance or international finance. So what is it? Triangle arbitrage is a currency trading strategy that allows for risk-free profits if three currencies are misaligned. So we're going to check it out and calculate it. So just to explain it a little bit better, what you would do is start with one currency, say it's the dollar, and you're going to convert that into a second currency. You know, let's say it's the yen in this case. Then you go over to bank C and you convert it into a third currency. Let's say it's the pound. And then finally you make the round trip, the triangle round trip. You come back home, you convert it back into dollars, and you make an arbitrage profit. And you're very happy about that. Now you only create this profit if these three currencies are misaligned. So let's check it out. Here's three different currency quotes uh, being quoted by three different banks. Bank A is quoting 142 yen per dollar. Bank B, $1.26 per pound. Bank C, 190 yen per pound. Now the question is, are these three quotes misaligned? And if they are, then there's probably no arbitrage opportunity. But if they're not, then there will be. So how do you know? How do you figure this out? Does an arbitrage opportunity exist? Well, what we can do to figure this out is we calculate what's known as a cross rate. So we're going to use this simple math procedure to calculate cross rates. You know that if A divided by B, you know if A, you know if you have A divided by B multiplied by B divided by C, you get A divided by C. And that is simply because the numerator and the denominator have a B in it. Those cross out and you're left with the third rate there. So that's the way cross rates work. So for example, you could do yen to pound, yen to dollar times dollar to pound is going to give you yen to pounds. So more specifically, if we use these three bank quotes on the right over here, you've got 142 yen per dollar times a dollar 26 per pound. You're going to see that these dollar signs will cross out. And so you'll be left with just that math operation of multiplying 142 times 1.26. And now you have 178.92 yen per pound. And you can see that the dollar signs cross out, but the yen and the pound sides are still there. And so that's your cross rate using those two currencies. Now, what you want to do is compare it over to the right. And you see over the right, you've got 190 yen per pound. That is very different than the 178.92 yen per pound that you see on the left side. So how can you take advantage of this? Well, <clears throat> if I'm looking at this, I see bank C is quoting yen very cheap. I can, if I come in with one pound, I get 190 yen. That's a lot different than what you get on the other side, the cross rate over there, 178.92 yen per pound. So what I really want to do is I want to get a hold of some pounds, and I want to go over to Bank C and execute that transaction, because that's very attractive to me. If, on the other hand, let's say yen were quoted at Bank C of, say, 150 yen per pound at Bank C, well, that would change what I do. In that case... I would compare it to the 178.92. I'd say that rate is unfavorable for yen. So what I'd want to do is go to bank C, take my 150 yen, and buy pounds with it in that case because pounds would be very cheap. So it really kind of depends. You have to think about are pounds cheaper? Are they expensive at bank C? Here I get a lot of yen for one pound. And so I'm going to go to bank C with pounds. I'm going to buy some yen. So let's walk through how this works. Again, I'll put the quotes there on the right. And you're going to start with a certain amount of money. You know, it could be any money. A uh, million dollars, a billion dollars. In the Forex market, you're usually seeing large volumes. You're going to start with a million dollars. You're going to convert that to pounds right away because you want to execute that trade at Bank C. So you need to get a hold of pounds. And so you take a million, you're going to have fewer pounds than dollars, right? If you look at Bank B, uh, bank B is quoting the rate that you're going to execute at. There's more dollars than pounds at that rate. You see that. So you're going to take a million and you're going to divide it by $1.26 and you're going to get 793,650 and change pounds. Okay, now I'm going to go over to bank C where I can take my pounds and here is where I'm really excited because now I can convert those pounds into yen, get a lot of yen for my pounds at bank C. And so I take 793, 650, I multiply that 
times 190. I get 150 million and change yen. And now I make the triangle round trip. I go to bank A. I convert those yen back into dollars. I take 150 million and change, divide by 142 yen, and I end up with 1,061,927 and 12 cents. And that is, of course, greater than a million. So my arbitrage profit is $61,927.12 down here at the bottom. So this all, you have to realize, this would all in the real world happen instantaneously within less than seconds. We're talking microseconds with computer and automatic uh, computer algorithms and automatic triggering of trades. This would happen instantaneously. But I want you to see what would happen here over time to these exchange rates. Now think about, think about this for a second. You're going to see a lot of action at Bank B where people are coming in there every day and buying pounds with their dollars because people want to execute at Bank C. So people are going to be doing this trade or investors are going to be doing this trade in large volume and they're going to be buying a lot of pounds at Bank B. So that exchange rate is going to change. It's going to go from 126 to 127, 128. The pound's going to get more expensive. Over at Bank C, you're going to see a lot of people coming in there at the bottom on Bank C, taking their pounds and buying yen. And so all of a sudden, yen are going to start to become more expensive at Bank C. 189, 188, 187 yen per pound. You're going to get or yen per pound. You're going to get fewer yen for your pound purchases. And of course, at Bank A, you're going to see a lot of volume. Bank A is going to be seeing a lot of people coming in with yen and buying dollars. And so the dollar is going to get more expensive in terms of yen. It's going to go from 142, 143, 144 yen per dollar. And so what's going to happen is the currencies on the right, all these banks are going to change their quotes such that ultimately this $61,000 arbitrage profit is going to go away. It's going to go towards zero. And that's what keeps these currencies in line. This ability to arbitrage is what keeps these rates in line in the first place. And so that's, that's the concept of triangle arbitrage. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. You have a lot of content here that will help you pass your courses in finance. And this is a place where I make finance fun for students. So give it a like or what you can do is subscribe. The bottom right, hit the button, you're subscribed, and come back and enjoy some more content. So thank you, and I look forward to speaking with you again in the future.